89. What is this? You're going to wear this to the show. You're going to wear the shirt of the band you're going to go see. Don't be that guy. Hey, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd, and today, another Elaine Epic premiere. Now, I'm at the premiere right now. The band is in the chat room. Everyone's excited. Everyone's pumped up for this one. This one's called Var de, Var de Ellis, which I believe is Swedish for We Love Avocados. No, no, no. It's German. Oh, German for... Oh, was that all? Okay, good, good, okay. Just wanna make sure, cause you know, you don't know until you ask. Glad I asked. All right, everyone, we saw Elaine in Houston, Texas at the Scout Bar just two weeks ago. They blew my mind. They're still on the road right now with Moonspell, wrapping up that tour with them. I think, um, I, I think, um, I'm not sure where they are. They're somewhere in the Midwest, but they're just, they're just tour tearing up North America. And um, if you get a chance to see them, they are better live than in their videos, which is saying something, because in their videos are pretty amazing. You wanna know how I know? I'm at the premiere, watch this. So for the first verse and through that reprisal, um, Philip, the bass player, was just holding it down. Just do, 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 do. He was just throwing, he was putting that massive groove in there, which is great. And then you had that pause coming out of the chorus. And then here comes Ricard with that, that ridiculous guitar sound he throws. Every member of the band's amazing. You have, you know, both guitarists, bass player, of course, but you know, drum wise, outstanding work both in a, in a metal full sense and of course if you have not checked out elaine's acoustic album holy crap totally different feel but somehow broken down acoustically some of the songs seem even bigger is that even possible if you don't believe me check it out it's out now it's been out for like over a year so please check it out Right. 
can do this this interlude as much as they want. It's just so savage. You know it's coming. It's beautiful. But you know it's savage. You want to know how you know it's savage? Because Philip and Jesper, the rhythm section, bass and drums, they have something really, really magical, powerful. And when it's live, it's like the perfect vehicle for Victor and Ricard as guitarists to just go everywhere. And then the performance on stage. If you get a chance to see this band, you got to see them. There's something about what they do on stage. It, there's a connectivity between all of them on stage particularly between Rickard and Madeline. There's some kind of rivalry. It's, it's not an ugly rivalry. It's, it's, a, it's a happy, loving rivalry to see who can get the crowd to interact with them the most in the best way possible. Let's finish it out. This is just the end of the song, by the way. All right, that's it. Okay. Oh, a little uh, little promo there? No, well, nice! What? Wow, that's pretty cool. Little promo there? I like that. Okay, so you got to check. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Elaine already has multiple albums out. Please check them out, including the acoustic one. And the acoustic one has all of your favorites on it. Now, this is the third single from the upcoming album. Now go to, I'm gonna have the link to the original video, the one that we just reacted to in my description. Go to that reaction or, or, or that video. And all of the information uh, is spelled out for you. All the rest of their tour dates, information about the upcoming album. They're super excited about it. And um, yeah, they are as imposing yet wonderful people in person as they seem to be on their videos. Um, I, I know the look of them can seem imposing theatrically and musically. But when I tell you, they're the nicest people when you meet them. I mean, incredible, incredible people. Madeline is really as poised and her countenance around you is just very soothing. Like you don't feel you don't you don't feel like you can't uh, be around her. She's not like a diva even though she looks like one. I mean, she looks like the metal goddess, right? But she's just a very genuine, caring person. When she speaks to you, you're like, wow, she really cares. Rickard, that's a totally different animal right there. That dude is like the super metal nerd, kind of like me, but, you know, with talent and Swedish. Um, and of course, you know, Victor and, and Jesper and, you know, Philip... Just great all around people, man. They're just great people and they're making great music. So please check it out. My name is Old School Nerd. I appreciate everybody for coming out. Yeah, I know. I did it. And I, I, I thought about it. I thought this is not a really good idea, but I did it. And Jeremy Piven tried to remind me. And, 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 and just like John Fravro, I didn't listen. 89, what is this? You're going to wear this to the show. You're going to wear the shirt of the band you're going to go see. Don't be that guy. I was that guy. And with that, thank you so much. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.